Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be adding to the complete the 100 timeline from season 1 to season 7. I did make one of these a couple years ago but the information is now very outdated and we actually have a lot more to add with the addition of season 6 and 7. So without further ado let's get started. The earliest date we have is still 1959, and in 1959 the Mount Weather Emergency Operations Center was founded in the Blue Ridge Mountains near Virginia, somewhere outside Washington DC. This will later become one of the three living pockets of humanity in the solar system after the first prime fire, and will be shown to prominence in seasons 1 and 2. In October of 1987, the founder of the Second Dawn Cult and the Disciples, Bill Cadigan is born, being played by John Piper Ferguson and first appearing in Season 4, Episode 3, The Four Horsemen. Bill Cadigan will go on to be one of the oldest characters in the series, being well over a thousand years old due to a mixture of time dilation and cryosleep. Between 2000 and the 2020s, the majority of the Lightborn family who will go on to become the Primes are born, along with Gabriel Santiago and the majority of those who ended up on the Allegis 4 mining ship. In 2025, Becca Franco, who will go on to create Ali 2.0 and subsequently end the world through Prime Fire and become the first commander of the Grounders, is born. And in 2035, she attends Harvard University when she is 10 years old. Sometime in 2034, Kelly Cadigan, played by Lola Evans, is born. She will go on to become Calliope Prom Flamekeeper and one of the original leaders of Tree Crew. She is also the one who invented the Grounder language, being born to Grace and Bill Cadigan. Although at some point her and her mother leave the Second Dawn cult, and Callie attends MIT, later returning to the Second Dawn bunker just before the first prime fire. In the early to mid 2040s, Bill Cadigan finds the Anomaly Stone in Peru's Machu Picchu and brings it back to the United States, beginning research believing that it can save the human race when the end of the world arrives. In the mid to late 2040s, the Allegis 3 also arrives on planet Alpha, which will later become Sanctum, and three weeks later Red Sun Toxin causes psychosis and kills almost everyone in the camp, including Josephine Lightborn. After the Lightborns were dropped off on planet Alpha, the Allegis 3 leaves for planet Beta, which will later be known as Skyring, crash landing there with Colin Benson being the sole survivor, and beginning the research on the Anomaly Stone. In 2047, Dioza, McCreary, and the prisoners of the Allegis 4 take control of the ship, with Earth losing contact with them not long after. In 2048, mega nuclear reactors are built on Earth, which are designed to give energy for over a hundred years and to survive any kind of disaster without melting down. In 2052, Ali causes the first prime fire, or the nuclear apocalypse, with Kelly, Grace, and the rest of the Second Dawn members being rushed to the Second Dawn bunker, where they will stay for over two years until 2054. In October 2054, the 13th station called Polaris is destroyed, with Becca Franco defecting to Earth with Ali and encountering the Second Dawn members, being burned at the stake by Bill Cadigan after refusing to give Cadigan the code to initiate the last war. She meets with the judge and realizes that the human race isn't ready to take the test yet. Some members of the Second Dawn bunker, including Kelly Cadigan, are made Nightbloods and move to the surface, becoming the first Grounders and the ancestors of what we see as Grounders later on. Also, Bill Cadigan and some of his loyal followers open the stone to Bardo, settling there and becoming the ancestors of the Disciples, also discovering at the same time that the alien race known as the Bardoans, who like humans were responsible for the destruction of their own planet, have gone extinct, wiped out by the bioweapon Gen 9. In 2070, Gabriel and Russell bring back Josephine from the dead using the mind drives, with this reincarnation system being used for over 200 years to ensure the survival of the Lightborn family and the other settlers. In the 2090s, believing the ground to be survivable, Mount Weather opens its doors for the first time since Prime Fire, with over 50 people dying and retreating back into the bunker. Between 2100 and the 2130s, the majority 
majority of the main characters of Season 1 are born on the Ark. Also, Ash is forced to kill Iko by Queen Naya, taking her name and becoming Iko. In 2144, Maddie is born in Shallow Valley, with her parents hiding her from Nightblood scouts for many years of her life. In 2148, Jake Griffin discovers the life support system failure on the Ark, and attempts to go public being floated before he can, with Clark being sent to juvenile detention along with Octavia later that year. In 2149, the Hundred are sent to the ground, specifically the northern United States of America, with Season 1 picking up right here. Season 1 takes place over the space of just over a month, lasting 13 episodes with us witnessing the deaths of over 2100 people in those 13 episodes. Season 2 picks up just after Season 1 ends, also taking place over the space of about a month with the Mountain Men capturing 48 of the 100, and those that were left on the Ark now being on the ground. During Season 2, there is a little over 700 deaths. After a slight time skip, Season 3 starts in the beginning months of 2050, and like other seasons, lasts about one month, with Clark destroying Alley and the City of Light, learning about the oncoming second prime fire that will decimate Earth in a matter of months. Season 4 begins on the same day Season 3 ends, with Season 4 ending about a month later, with Clark being left on the ground in Becca Franco's lab, Octavia and a large amount of grounders becoming run crew in the bunker, and Bellamy, Echo, Raven and friends flying to the ring. Season 5 begins 6 years later, in 2156, with Clark and Maddie witnessing the return of the Allegis 4 which has been in flight since Dioza, McCreary and the other prisoners went into cryosleep in 2047, placing their journey at about 109 years long. Season 5 then ends a month or two after the beginning, with what is left of the human race being put into cryosleep aboard the Allegis 4 in 2156. In 2157, Monty's first message is recorded aboard the Allegis 4, stating it is the one-year anniversary of the long nap. Then, in 2158, Monty and Harper announce her pregnancy, with Monty recording a message about how Earth has not recovered yet in 2166, ten years after the anniversary of the Long Nap. In November of 2184, 28 years after the Long Nap begins, Jordan is put into cryosleep by Monty and Harper. Then, in February 2206, Harper dies because of her genetic condition passed down by her father and Monty sets the course for the Allegis 4 to fly to Sanctum or Planet Alpha, after he discovers the new planet in the Allegis 3 files. In April 2281, 125 years after everyone was put into cryosleep, Jordan wakes up Clark and Bellamy, with the Allegis 4 arriving at Planet Alpha, which will become known as Sanctum. In 2281, Season 6 of The Hundred begins, with Bellamy, Clark and friends descending onto Sanctum, with the season taking place over the space of about a month. Although during this season, Octavia, Hope and Dioza spend over 10 years on Skyring and Bardo combined, and because time dilation, only minutes pass. With Season 6 ending with Hope stabbing Octavia and sending her back to Bardo into the hands of the Disciples. Later in 2281, Season 7 of The Hundred begins, with the entirety of the season taking place in 2281, showing the return of Bill Cadigan and the Disciples which haven't been seen chronologically for over 200 years, and because of time dilation and cryosleep, Bill Cadigan and the idea of the Disciples are over a thousand years old. The season ends with the entirety of the human race transcending due to the actions of Raven, but Clark being left behind, with her friends returning to Earth to live out the rest of their lives together. Although it is unconfirmed, sometime in the late 23rd to early 24th century, the last of the human race died out on Earth. Although theoretically the essence of the human race and what makes humans humans lived on through transcendence. This brings us to the very end of The Hundred, from Season 1 through to Season 7. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the future. Bye.